Hi everybody, Andrea from Andrea's Country Home Cooking. Welcome to my YouTube page. You also can find me on Facebook and Instagram, but I wanted to bring you some of my recipes to life and show you how simple some of this stuff is, especially with our everyday busy lives and Thanksgiving and Christmas is rolling around and we have no time to focus on meals when you have to wrap and you have to shop and you have to decorate the tree, you have all this stuff to do. And this right here, this crock pot, it's going to be a lifesaver. There are a lot of really good recipes coming your way with use of a crock pot. As you can see, this is all a recipe takes. I did some prepping yesterday for the cheese and the meat, but this recipe is so simple. It's called Baked Meaty Ziti because in this family, we do meat. We can't just do pasta. So I'm going to show you how easy this recipe is. You're going to start with a crock pot. You don't want it too small because the pasta does really plump up. Um, this recipe is actually enough to probably feed an army. You want to take some spray oil, spray your crock pot really well, it'll come out a lot easier. I'm going to take a jar of Prego. We're going to probably do about two to two and a half cups of tomato sauce on the bottom. You just want to cover the bottom up. If you have a little bit left in the jar, that's okay. We'll use it on top of the meat. Set that aside. I just got a box of ziti pasta. This box is 16 ounces. We'll probably use most of the box. What you're going to do is you're going to pour it in. You pour it all on top of your pasta. And on top of your tomato sauce. Probably leave like one fourth of your box left. Like I said, this makes a slew of food. So you have your tomato sauce and we have our pasta now. So now we have a cheese mixture that I mixed up yesterday to make this go faster. So this in this bowl is 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, two eggs, and a little bit of Italian seasoning, like two teaspoons. Mix it up really good. What we're gonna do is we are gonna dollop this on the top of our pasta. You don't have to spread it evenly. You just kind of want to make sure you do dollops all along the top. So when it bakes, it will actually spread as it's cooking. And for us, the cheesier the better. This family loves cheese. No joke. This recipe probably calls for probably two cups of mozzarella, a little bit of parm, but when it comes to our family, it's double like four cups. So, that looks good. You know, when I watch these cooking channels and they always leave like all this extra goodness in the bowl, it drives me absolutely insane. I was like, that's such a waste. Should I get all that good stuff out of there? Especially when it's cheese. So I grabbed a spatula. I'm going to get all that out of there. All right. So now we have a layer, layer of ricotta cheese mixture. And now I have a bowl of shredded mozzarella and we're just going to kind of sprinkle it over the top doesn't need to be perfect just a little bit and then I have shaker parmesan cheese and we're just going to sprinkle a little bit over the top of that maybe like one fourth cup all right now I bought a pound and a half of ground beef and I cooked it yesterday over the stove with one medium onion cut in half, chop real fine, and you just let your meat cook with your onion. And then when it's about done, you add about two cups or close to a jar of Prego sauce. Cook that up, let it simmer. The longer you let it simmer, the better the meat's gonna taste. So we're gonna take this meat, and if you are vegan or you don't like meat, you do not have to add the meat. Instead of adding the meat, you're just going to add some more sauce on top of your cheese. But because we are doing meat, we don't have to add as much pasta, because or as much sauce, excuse me, because we have sauce in our meat. So we have a layer of meat now. There's our layer of meat. And since I have a little bit of sauce left, it doesn't hurt. Just throw this little extra sauce on the top for when it bakes. We're going to get all that dumped in there. Now, to top it off, of course, we have to have extra mozzarella. So we're going to throw some mozzarella on top, cover it up. 
We probably won't use all of this. I may have got a little carried away on the cheese. All right. And then we're going to get some Parmesan cheese. Shake a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. And then I have garlic salt. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic salt on the top. Just to give a little bit of extra flavor. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge tomorrow when I get home from work after a really busy day of cleaning two houses and then going to clean my church. Come home, pop this in on the outlet. That's the beauty of a crock pot. Pop it in with your lid on and you're going to bake it on low for four hours. Serve with garlic bread and toss salad and you have dinner ready. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can find it at andreascountryhomecooking.com and we will attach it to the link. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this. Thank you.